I'm going to show you how to make a breaking platform like this one. And by the way, if you didn't watch my previous short about the dropping platform, go watch it because I'm skipping the parts that both platforms share. It's under this video. First, in any drawing app, after you finish the main platform design, take small pieces of it and move them slightly apart so we can fake a breaking animation. Now in Godot, the setup is the same as the previous platform. But this time, add an animation player, create a new animation and name it Vanish, and make it 0.5 seconds long. At the start of the timeline, go to the platform's inspector, visibility, and set a keyframe for full opacity. Then move the timeline to 0.5 seconds and set another keyframe with zero opacity so it looks like the platform fades away. Now for the script. Drag in the animated sprite, the animation player, and both collision shapes. Then add these variables. Warning time. How long the player is allowed to stand on the platform, vanish delay, a tiny delay between the animations. Broken time. How long before the platform comes back? Two booleans to stop the platform from breaking multiple times at once. Extra variables to control the shake effect, like speed and strength. In the ready function, save the original position of the platform. In the process function, make the platform shake using a sine wave so it gives an unstable vibe and warning to the player. Next, connect the body entered signal. Check if the body is in the player group, if the platform can break, and if it hasn't broken yet. If all are true, call a function called start breaking. Inside that function, we lock the platform in the broken state. We wait for the warning time. Then we play the break animation, wait a bit, and play the vanish animation and disable the collision so the player falls. After waiting for the broken time, we play the return animation and play the vanish animation backwards. We wait for the breaking animation to fully finish, then re-enable the collisions. Finally, we unlock the platform so it can be broken again. And that's it. Now you have a breaking platform that adds real challenge to your game, and you can even make multiple variations of it.